don't have a prenuptial agreement, then the Property Relationships Act will apply to the division of your property, whether it ends in separation or death. And the Act recognises three distinct categories of property, and they're all treated differently. Separate property is property you inherit or had before you started living together. And that doesn't get divided. You just keep it separately, uh, and uh, that, that's a key part of our legislation. It can be converted into relationship property if it gets used for the benefit of the relationship. Relationship property is everything you acquire during the relationship which is not from separate property or trust property. That always gets divided 50-50 between the couple regardless of whose name it's registered in. There's only four exceptions. If your relationship is less than three years, it doesn't get divided 50-50. If you've got one of these prenuptial or Section 21 agreements, if there's extraordinary circumstances, hardly ever applies, it's none marrying multimillionaire territory only, or if there is economic disparity caused by the division of functions in the relationship. And that provision is really designed to help traditional wives who come out of the paid workforce to look after children for a long period of time, and they can get more than 50% of the relationship property. The third category is trust. Now trust property isn't owned by either of you, so it's in a different box. And the ways into that box uh, are much more convoluted. You can look at the trust deed and see whether or not you've got equal rights under the trust deed, because you're both trustees, for example. Uh, you can also claim under the Act, if relationship property has gone into the trust, you can seek a compensation order. And on divorce, if you're a married couple, you can ask the uh, court to inquire into the trust settlement to see if it's still fair given that you're getting divorced. But all of those provisions can be complicated and convoluted in terms of actually getting the ball over the line. So I do say to people that they must make sure they understand the implications of putting property into trust in the event of separation. The difference with trusts is that a party can put, a spouse can put property that's in their names into a trust prior to separation without actually telling you uh, because they're the registered owner, you haven't separated, you haven't done anything about it. So you have to really watch trusts because they have a huge impact on the division of property on separation or death.